Another necessary part of the maintenance for a direct vent gas fireplace or a direct vent fireplace insert is the cleaning of the pilot assembly. The pilot assembly is located inside the firebox, uh, normally under the top logs. Um, and this heatilator model is located in the left side rear. So to access the pilot assembly, first we need to remove the glass assembly. If you have any questions regarding removing the glass assembly, you can consult your fireplace manual, local distributor, or you can check out one of our other videos at Central Jersey Fireplace. But now we're going to fast forward. We have the glass assembly already removed. So now that the glass assembly is removed, next we'll be removing the necessary logs in order to gain access to our pilot assembly. You need to be very careful in removing these logs as they become brittle over time. We're going to make sure we set these logs off to the side and out of harm's way. Now that we have the logs removed, we've gained clear access to the pilot assembly. Now this is an electronic ignition model. On most electronic ignition models, you have a flame sensor and an igniter. So it becomes necessary from time to time to clean the residue off of these flame sensor and igniter for it to function properly. Those who have owned electronic ignition units in the past have known uh, certain times when a unit tends to light slower or it may ignite, extinguish, and then reignite again, then re-extinguish again. That's a clear indicator that uh, the flame sensor needs to be cleaned. Um, hopefully we can clean it sooner uh, before these things start to happen. Well, when we go to clean the pilot assembly, I prefer to use a detail brush. Uh, very similar to a toothbrush. You can pick it up at a hardware store um, or even an auto shop or a hobby store. Some prefer to use an emery cloth, but the detail brush is what we keep uh, in our tech bags on the road. So with my uh, detail brush, I'm going to clean the residue off of the flame sensor. and the igniter. You don't want to use anything too abrasive or too rough because you don't want to damage either the flame sensor or the igniter and you also don't want to crack the white ceramic in, uh, insulator that's around uh, both parts of the pilot assembly. So now that the flame sensor and igniter are properly cleaned, uh, the fireplace is ready to be reassembled and will be ready for use. If you have any other questions regarding maintenance for your fireplace, please consult your fireplace manual, local distributor, or check out one of our other videos here at Central Jersey Fireplace.